I Am Superman by Brad Meltzer, illustrated by Christopher Eliopoulos. I Am Superman Writer Jerry Siegel and artist Joe Schuster created the first and greatest superhero, Superman, whose stories have now been told more than 80 years by thousands of creators. By Brad Meltzer Illustrated by Christopher Eliopoulos. I am Superman. I am also Kal-El. That's the name I was given on my birth planet, Krypton, which was far away in another galaxy. When I was a baby, my parents built a rocket ship. Jor-El, I don't like this. My father was a scientist. He warned the leaders of Krypton that our planet was dying. No one would listen. Lara, this will keep our son safe. On Earth, with the yellow sun, he will have powers that will protect him. He'll be different, odd, alone. He will never be alone. The rocket could carry just one of us. It was only way to save my life. Cal... We are always with you. Today, we give Earth our greatest gift, our only son. They won't accept him. They can be a great people if they wish to be. They only lack the light to show the way. Krypton is a vital part of my story, but if you want to understand who I am, you need to understand Jonathan and Martha Kent, the two nicest people in the world. Jonathan, you see that? Look! Up in the sky! Ba-boom! Jonathan, do you see a baby in a rocket ship? I, I see a baby in a rocket ship. Martha, what are you doing? Where are his parents? Soon after I landed on Earth, Ma and Pa adopted me, giving me my second name. Clark Kent, what do you think you're doing? Scoring touchdowns. That's good, right, Pa? Ow, it's like trying to tackle a rock. What's wrong with scoring touchdowns? Been showing off a bit, haven't you, son? Is it showing off when somebody's doing the things he's capable of doing? Is a bird showing off when it flies? Clark, listen to your father and stand up straight. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I know you can do all these amazing things, but then a man gets older and things get very clear. And there's one thing I do know, son, and that is you are here for a reason. And it's not to score touchdowns. Every day on our farm, I learned how to be a good person. My parents taught me kindness. Mr. Hubbard lost his job. Take him some food. He needs the help. Yes, ma'am. And that new boy at school, if he's got no one to sit with, invite him to sit with you. Yes, ma'am. They taught me perseverance. We really have to pick all of it. You know the rules. No powers. Don't be afraid of hard work. Come with me, Mrs. Morris. My dog's still in there. Clark, go inside and get Teddy. If someone's in danger, you help them, no matter what. They taught me compassion, which means wanting to help people in need. It wasn't always easy. Sometimes I felt lonely, different from everyone else. But my parents taught me that if you treat people with respect, no matter where they're from, so my rocket just came from the sky? It was the single best day of our lives. You know how proud I am to be your dad, right? People always want to know what makes me Superman. It's not bulletproof skin or super strength. Just put it on. I made it from the baby blankets in your rocket. But Ma, listen to your mother. It's these two people who loved me with everything they had and taught me right from wrong. Here's the cape. How's it look? I know I'm not 
I know I'm your mother, but I have to be honest. You're the handsomest boy in the entire world. Ma! Two people who taught me that when someone needs help, you don't let anything stand in your way. Toward the end of high school, my dad died. It was one of the hardest moments of my life. Ma, I don't think I can handle this. I'm not strong enough. It's never as bad as it seems, Clark. But Ma, I can't. You're much stronger than you think you are. Trust me. As always, Ma was right. Pa once told me I was here for a reason. And it was time to find out what that reason was. Whoa! The car! He doesn't see the car! Foosh! Wow, cool costume. Thanks. My mom made it for me. Over time, I realized I'm faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. I also have x-ray vision. He's hiding a weapon, officer. Thank you, Superman. No, thank you. We're all part of the same team. Super hearing. Someone's in danger. Supervision. Heat vision. And super breath. In fact, I'm pretty invulnerable, which means nothing can hurt me, except for magic and kryptonite, which are green pieces of my home planet that fell to Earth. N no, take it away. I got you, Superman. You've got me. Who's got you? That's Lois Lane. In Metropolis, I became a journalist at the Daily Planet. I kept my identity as Superman a secret so that criminals couldn't come after those I love. Hey, Smallville, how come I never see you and Superman together? Gee, Lois, I I'm really not sure. Lois and I are going to get married. I've got new photos of Superman. That's Jimmy Olsen. These are swell, Jimmy. Great, Caesar's ghost. I've never seen a purporter type this fast. I'm impressed, Kent. My news editor, Perry White. I made many new friends in Metropolis. I also made my share of enemies. You will go down, Superman. No, I won't. Brainiac, 12th level intellect. You will. I won't. Metallo, kryptonite heart. Rrrr. Doomsday, mindless creature from Krypton. Bizarro, make Superman stay up. Bizarro, flawed copy of Superman, speaks in opposites. You will fall. I will not. Parasite, absorbs your strength. Then you will kneel. General, would you care to step outside? Zod, supervillain from Krypton. Same powers as Superman. It shouldn't be hard to know the difference between right and wrong. Get those aliens! Superman won't stop us. He's for humans like us. Fish. I'm for everyone. And if you don't know that, you don't know me. They're all bullies. And I don't like bullies. Those men in armor, I know you had them attack those aliens. I know you built their battle suits. You can't prove it, alien. Run along. You'll be getting late to get the key to the city. Lex Luthor, incredibly smart, incredibly jealous. By the way, Lex, I heard Lois Lane got a sample of those battle suits and traced them to your lab. Bye. Sometimes... The most important battles are the ones you least expect. Superman, hurry! You're late to your own celebration! I'm about to hit hypersonic, Madam Mayor. I'll be there in two se- Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to- <laughs> You okay? Not really. My mom invited my whole class to my astronaut party, but no one showed up. 
Well, Nancy, you and I are about to have the best astronaut party of the year. You mean it? But aren't you supposed to get the key to the city right now? The only place I need to be is right here. Oh, gee, heat vision candles. It's my lucky day. No, Nancy, it's mine. Happy birthday to you. Like my parents taught me, if someone needs help, I'll be there. In my life, people cheer me on for being powerful, invulnerable. They say nothing can stop me. But my greatest strength doesn't come from my superpowers. It comes from my heart, from the values my parents taught me. The most important part of this story isn't Superman, it's Clark Kent. Why? Because we're all Clark Kent, ordinary people who are capable of being amazing every day. All you have to do is help one person. Be kind to one person. And you'll change the world. Did you know that Superman was created by two teenagers, Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, in Cleveland, Ohio? They wrote the idea, then ran to his friend Joe's house, where Joe started drawing. They were two ordinary kids, just like you. Today, Superman is still the most popular superhero. In a survey, Americans voted him as their number one favorite. Do you love Superman? Try one of his comic books. Who am I? I am Kal-El. I am Clark Kent. I am Superman, but most of all, I am a friend. You can always count on me. Truth, justice, and the American way are more vital than ever. Kindness is one of the world's greatest strengths. There's nothing more powerful than being a good person. I know I can't help everyone, but I'm going to try. Because when someone needs help, there's always a job for Superman. I am Superman. And I believe in the good in you. This is that real house where the idea for Superman was born. Visit it next time you're in Cleveland. We can all use a better tomorrow. These are the creators of Superman, Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. They weren't popular, they were dreamers. And they were so poor they used to draw on the back of butcher's paper. But they were two friends with one dream. At the brink of World War II, in the midst of the Great Depression, these two Jewish kids from Cleveland didn't just give us the world's first superhero. They gave us something to believe in. And then we have our timeline for Superman. 1938 Action Comics Number 1 by Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. 1939, Superman 1 by Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. 1941, Superman number 14 cover by Fred Ray. 2018, Action Comics number 1000 cover by Jim Lee. 2005, All Star Superman number 1 by Grant Morrison and Frank Quietly. 1986, Man of Steel number 1 by Jordan Brin and Dick Gordiano. 1978, Christopher Reeve in Superman. 1971, Superman 233 by Denny O'Neill and Neil Adams. 1980s, 